Welcome to Global Public Health Podcasts, where we learn from each other about the global and local intersections in health. Hi, I'm your host, Lauren Clark. I'm a professor of nursing at the University of Utah College of Nursing, and I'm bringing to you stories from students with insights into global health. Today, we welcome Danielle Cole to our Global Public Health Podcast. As a nursing student nearly finished with her education, she's really connecting some of her past experiences to her future profession. And for me, I think about the reasons that she's becoming a nurse. And she'll talk with us today about the reason she is really particularly interested in cancer screening. It's a pretty personal reason. And because of that commitment that she has to people and to cancer screening, she's taken on a fairly impressive role as a public health advocate and a door-to-door representative of the American Cancer Society. My name is Danielle Cole, and I just finished my third semester here at the nursing program. I grew up and currently live in West Valley City, Utah. And in my community, um, it's unique because we have a very diverse community. It's I love it. It's we have all different kinds of cultures and we have different religions and ethnicities and races. And I'm going to talk about my experience in my own community working with people who are from different countries. So I volunteer with the American Cancer Society, Relay for Life in particular. And what got me involved with that was I had cancer when I was, when I was younger and I decided I want, wanted to give back and help others who need help as well. So a few years ago, I was going around in my own neighborhood and I know there is, in, I live in West Valley, so I know this is a very underserved area. Um, they might not know a lot about healthcare or what kind of opportunities are um, available for them to take advantage of in regards to cancer. And so I was going around door to door basically and educating those in my own neighborhood about the importance of cancer screenings. And I came up to one house um, and I knocked on the door and a little young boy came by and I asked if his mom mom or dad was home and his mom came down and I, I I realized that she didn't speak English and she called her older son um, to come and help translate. Um, he spoke English. So I, I began talking about the importance of cancer screenings. Um, this, this family was from Somalia. Uh, they They had come over a few years prior. I remember them moving in to my neighborhood, actually. And so I I was talking with with her and her son about breast cancer screenings and the importance of getting a breast cancer screening. And I, I immediately felt something awkward happening. And she told her son to tell me that to come back when her husband was home. And so... I left and I came back the next day and her husband was home and I was talking to him and her about um, breast cancer screenings and he spoke English quite well and he told me that his wife had a had a lump in her breast and I, I informed him, I, I said, I would go get that checked out by a doctor and to see, you know, just to make sure everything is okay and he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, okay. And so I, I leave the house and I, I come back a while later and he, he told me that when they went to the doctor, that it, everything was okay and that it wasn't cancerous, but the doctor told them to come back and get regular screenings done just to make sure that nothing, nothing happened, no cancer did develop. And so he was very grateful for um, they were both very grateful that I was, I came and visited them that one day. So I, I think, I think it's important to understand that in your own community, there's people from 
all all areas of the world and I think it's important to advocate for advocate for them to go get regular screenings done because they may have not had that opportunity in the country that they lived in prior and it's important to build that personal connection with them because they might be more willing to go and seek help rather than having an impersonal connection with someone and just telling them to go get help. Actually caring about someone is very important in, um, in every, everyday life, especially when working with those who may not know the healthcare system in America. And it's scary. It's, it's not easy to work it. So just being there and being a friend and genuinely caring about someone is important. So I learned a lot from this experience working with this family. I was able to see the importance of global health in my own community. And I will take this experience into my nursing career. One important thing I learned was to implement personal touch into educating others and showing compassion and love towards those you don't know. Thanks for tuning in to the Global Health Podcast, where we learn from each other about the global, local intersections in health. I'm Lauren Clark. Thanks for joining us.